Hello, this is John from Snoqualmie Fire Lookouts, and it's time for another instructional video. In this case, it's going to be how to locate a fire using the Osborne Fire Finder or a compass, and how to locate that fire in such a way you can then report it. The Osborne Fire Finder is a very old but very reliable tool for finding fires. Invented back in the 1920s, and at every operational lookout, you'll find one of these in the center of it. Please be careful with these. These are antiques. These are originals that we have in these lookouts. So we want to be very careful and cautious with them. The box is sitting on, by the way, is a padded box, which is used to haul them up and down to the lookout and try to keep protect them. The look, the uh, Osborne itself is mounted on a stand and is aligned exactly due north. We do that when we install it to make sure that it's, it's lined up. And so that the azimuth ring around the bottom here rings in, uh, basically reads in true <coughs> true north degrees. It's slightly off from what you'd expect because the zero for true north is on the end you're at, away from it. It basically is helping you read which direction you're looking. In the center, as with all lookouts, is where you're at. This is the lookout you're at. In this case, it's Kelly Butte. And we try to have some other things marked on here. This is a Forest Service map, so um, you can actually then use this once it's calibrated, and you can identify, for example, that's where Stampede Pass is at. So I can look down this direction, and if I look through my sights now, I should be looking right at Stampede Pass. Same way, if I go to this side, and I look down this direction, Suntop Lookout is located on this map right on the very edge, and so I can look right down the burnery, burnier, and I can see Suntop. So I mentioned before, these Osborns are really antiques. They are very much tools. This is not a place for you to put your coffee. It's not a place to, for you to set your radio or whatever, things like that. I've seen people put things up here like really hot uh, metal cups and it melts the plastic on the maps. You know, these, these are things that are need to be cared for very carefully. Sometimes you may end up setting your radio up there. I didn't really like doing that. But we don't want you to set anything up here that's burning, like a candle or a lantern or a stove or anything like that. So treat these with, with the care they deserve. When you see a smoke, you're of course first going to want to locate it and watch it for a little while. In this case, fire's not allowed, so we're watching my beekeeper smoker as I substitute. You zoom in, you can actually see, yeah, it's starting to put out a little bit of smoke there, so you kind of see that yellow, yellow thing in there. So watch carefully. To use the Osborne, you line it up so that your horsehair is aimed towards where the smoke's coming from, and this large brass piece, your sight, is on your side. You look down behind this, and there's a little teeny tiny squint hole here. Look through that squint hole. You might have to turn your hat around to make this work. And you should be able to see through the horse hair and see that smoke. Line the two up, okay? You can also utilize this little, what's called a burnier, to move up and down and look through this to kind of get an idea. Is the smoke below you or above you. If it's below you, it's at a lower altitude. If it's above you, it's a higher altitude. Once you've done that, you're next going to pick out, pick off the azimuth. The azimuth ring on the Osborne is 360 degrees. And if you look down here, you'll see there's a zero on this little brass plate. And if you look at the azimuth ring down below there, we can pick off, and I can actually read this off, and it says, this fire, the smoke for me, is at about 355 degrees. That's 355 degrees true from my location. Now that gives me at least an idea of what direction the fire is at. Now what I have to do is, is my idea and my knowledge of the terrain to know roughly how far away it is. And so I'll look at the map. Each one of these little squares on the map is approximately one mile. So as I look up, I will see that this fire, well, in this case, it's only about 20 feet away from me, but I can look at each one of these squares and use that to estimate approximately how many miles it might be away from me. It's tough sometimes to tell with the number of ridges, so it's okay to give an estimate as opposed to being exact. Sometimes you can't see the smoke from the lookout. So inside each one of our lookout bags is a compass and a map of the Stoquami Ranger District. This is a very accurate compass. This is not your standard dime store compass. Uh, it also has the adjustment put into it, so it's actually pointing directly due north, true north, okay? In this case, to actually get an azimuth to that smoke, I'm going to take this compass, aim it in the direction of that smoke, and looking through the mirror, 
I'm going to try to line the red arrow up, the red needle up, with the red arrow on the inside, okay? It only works if it's flat, so I can't actually do it. I may have to try it a couple times, but I can look through the mirror like this, and I can see those two things are lined up. Then I can read the azimuth right off the very top of the, the, the compass. It still doesn't give me an idea of the distance. For the distance, I'm gonna to have to learn how to read the map carefully, and I'm gonna spend some time to actually understand what sort of terrain and what sort of things I'm looking at. Want to learn more about the Osborne Firefinder? Go to the sites you see below and come back again in the future for future training videos. Thanks for listening.